Wait and subscribe for Mummy's YouTube channels and hit the bell. Aw, uh, y'all, give it up for my baby now out here supporting his mama's dreams and do what he says. So we're just going to jump right into it. Here we have a returning beauty who is due for a refill. She also has a nail that needs to be repaired, which will be the main focus of this video. But also, can she get some love for this beautiful grow out? This original set was done on November the 9th. She came back on December 10th to get her holiday nails that I featured in my shorts link below, if I can make it work. If not, you can find it on my channel page. That gave her a grow out time of four weeks and four days. Not too shabby and look at what that length came to be. So in order to rebuild this nail, we're going to use a nail form. I've already gone through and prepped her nails by pushing the cuticles back and giving it a cleanup, removing any old product and ensuring it's ready for fresh application. Applying a nail form can be tricky. You might have to do it a few times, even if you're a professional. Sometimes it's the form, sometimes it's the sticky not sticky in, and sometimes it's just an uncooperative finger. What matters most is taking the time to ensure it is applied right. If there is a small edge to the natural nail, you want the form to be right up underneath it, but also not pushed it into the client's skin. Y'all know what it feels like to split the skin under the nail right where the nail starts to grow out? Talk about discomfort. Be sure the form is secure and it is firm against the client's finger. It shouldn't be shifty and if the triangle points don't exactly line up with the middle of the nail, just remember to work with the center of the nail itself and not the forms. Once your form is secure and in place, you want to get your bead of acrylic. Now I say bead as most others do, but honestly, it's just some acrylic on the end of my brush. Now I'm a small beater, meaning I like to use small beads instead of large ones when working with acrylic. Everyone over time develops a method that works for them. I also encourage that for you if you're learning. Yes, learn the basics and maybe a three bead or a two bead application method, but ultimately work in a manner that you feel most comfortable. I mean, would you rather be second guessing yourself on something you might do right or confident in something you know works for you? Be kind to yourself and take your time and you will eventually develop your own flow. Now, when I'm ready to apply the tip, or what will eventually be the nail. I start with applying acrylic right at the free edge to build the nail out onto the form. I make sure the acrylic is touching the nail plate to the form and that there are no gaps. Also, the edges on both sides of the nail need to have the acrylic meet the side walls. If the form is over the edge, it will disfigure and possibly not attach the acrylic build out or tip to the nail plate and it will also lack strength. And when you pull the form off, it might very well pull off the entire tip. Yikes. Once you have a free edge that looks comparable to the shape you want to make, you will also go in and apply acrylic to the nail plate to meet the edge you made, to join together as one and become the new nail. You will see I continue to press my sidewalls while applying the acrylic and that is to ensure that I don't skimp on the sides as they are important for strength. It is also important to have an apex which is a slight curve on the nail just before the free edge and not a flat nail as it will be better supported for its length and it will give it the support it needs as it grows out. Now why do I do this method instead of using tips? I've been asked this many times and to be honest it's because I don't like them. I don't like the whole glue thing, the fitting the tip or cutting the tip to fit thing. The idea, honestly, it just stresses me out. So instead, I rebuild the nail using the same product that would be applied over the tip and it allows for less weight pressure on the natural nail plate and supports its new growth. Um, also, if you really think about it, depending on the length of the nail a person would get, 
when the tip is applied, don't they always cut it right down? And then by the time you go back for a refill, your grow out usually pushes the tip just past the edge. So eventually you're just filing it down and or filing it off. It's not a bad thing to do. Clearly people have been doing it for years, but just I found you can achieve the same look with just your nails, no tips required. Now don't everybody try come crucify me all at once. Everyone is free to do what works for them. But the clients that I work with understand when I educate them on their options and most of them, they like the nails they have. They just want to give them a little boost and protection An acrylic overlay or a sculpted nail is a great way for them to achieve this. Now I'll look at the nail from different angles to ensure I am even with my shape. I am looking for any uneven sides. I want to make sure my distribution is even. I think there's a large part of why I work in small increments. I feel it gives me more control. Um, also, I'm a little OCD, so I'm obsessed with being a certain kind of perfect. It has to work for me. The client, they usually don't know any difference. Once I'm satisfied with the shape and I've done a final check of all the sides, I will move on to the other nails to allow this one time to dry to ensure it is ready to file. How to check if it's dry? Well, let's remove the form. I'm going to tap it with my cuticle pusher and you will hear like a clack clack sound, which usually means it's dry. But a quick nail liquid tip, which is actually called monomer, if you want it to set faster, make sure it's warm. Not hot, but warm. I use a candle warmer and sit the dappen dish on top when doing prep work so when I'm ready for application it's at a good temperature to work fast and won't have a long curing time which means drying for those who do not know nail lingo. Now that the nail is all cured I'm going to go in with my arbor band and do some cuticle sealing and also roughing up the surface. But after using the arbor band, I realized it wasn't helping me with the reduction I needed. It's easy to remove bulkier acrylic, but you don't do it with an arbor band. Mainly because the speed you use is too low and it just won't do the job. And trust and believe you ain't trying to be out here burning a client. I do want to shape it at this point also as when I got in to reduce uh, more of that bulk on top, it's going to come in uh, more into form with what I want the finish to look like. So I go in with a hand file, hit up them sides and the free edge 
I come through to round it out on top to reinforce the curve. I do feel like I was struggling. It was probably because I knew I was recording and I don't know why, but it still makes me nervous. Um, so I decided instead to just switch out my bit because I mean, the struggle was real and I did have quite a bit of bulk to reduce and this wasn't going to make it happen. So I switched out the hand file for a ceramic bit because it's just going to remove the bulk and give me a little bit closer cut to the cuticle area. I'll come back with the hand file again to clean it up and sharpen the edges. But for right now, using the ceramic file is just again going to help me quickly reduce all of the bulk. So I'm back in with my hand file for the final touches. I'm just going to again go over the surface, make sure it's all clean, touch both the sides and again the free edge to make sure that this nail looks fire because it's now finished. And here is what it will look like when it is all set and done. Hold on, wait for it. I'm coming. I told you about that OCD, right? All right. For real, for real. Here it is. All right, so here is the rebuild and the full service once complete. From here, she'll likely get a simple polish and go about her merry way. I want to say I appreciate you for tuning in and supporting my channel. I hope you learned something here today. If you like the content, I'd appreciate you showing some love by liking my video and subscribing to my channel. Also, please tell a friend. Feel free to leave a comment as I'd love to hear from the community if this is your thing. And if it isn't and there are things you want to know, don't hesitate to holla. I'll do my best to answer. Check out my channel for more content, y'all. Thanks again. And until the next one, stay blessed.